I have a story to share about a wonderful toy shop and a little stuffed bear. Month after month, he sat up there, watching other toys come and then go, packed in boxes wrapped with bows. But no one even looked his way, and he began to imagine he could hear people say, that bear can't dance or spin or fly. And that seemed to him the reason why he just sat there. He said to the robot dinosaur, I wish I had your frightening roar. But the dinosaur, quite preoccupied, took a turn and toppled over the side. He said to the stuffed monkey, I wish I could be like you, you're kind of funky. But the monkey said, ooh, 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 me? To be like me, you need a wind-up key. He said to the electric bunny, I wish I could be like you. You're kind of funny. But the bunny said, Yeah, well, you can never be as real as me unless you had a battery. Or two. Or three. <laughs> he said to one of the noisy hounds, I wish I could be like you. You make cool sounds. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, I do. I do, it's true. But if barking is your goal, yes, <clears throat> you need a cool remote control. And he sniffed the bear and licked him too. And of course, what he has said was true. It was clear to the bear, who month after month just sat there. Wait now, don't you start to worry. This is about to become a happy story. One day, a mother came into the shop. And with one finger pointing up toward the top, she said, I want that one there at the end. So the clerk took down our little stuffed friend. And the bear felt so elated. But when the lid slid on the top of the box, his confidence faded. He imagined the girl or boy who waited for a special toy, and he knew he wasn't, wasn't special, I mean. And he wondered, what will they think of me? It was Christmas morning the very next day. And from deep in the dark, he heard a child say, is this one for me? Can I open it now? If he had a heart, the little bear was sure that that heart would have pounded right out of his fur. And oh, the bear wished he could cry out somehow, it's only me, I'm just a bear. But with the rustling of paper, the top flew off and a little girl's hands reached carefully in. And sure enough, he saw a tear on her cheek. Then finally, when she was able to speak, she said, oh, I love him. Well, the bear could hardly believe his surprise. Those were tears of joy that spilled from her eyes. He's so huggable, he's so cuddly and soft. I'm going to call him happy because that's what he makes me. So from that day on, happy he was. And happy the bear is like us all because wherever we find ourselves, near or far, we are all happy when we are who we are.